everybody, today let's talk about the 870 visa. It's called the Sponsored Temporary Parent Visa, subclass 870. Chan and I'm the principal lawyer at Mason Chan Law Group. If you'd like to get in contact with myself or one of our fabulous lawyers or agents, our contact link is below. If you have an urgent matter, you can email us and we will do our best to accommodate you with an early appointment because right now there is a bit of a wait list for our consultations. So I know that we talk a lot about how to apply for visas yourself and how to apply for this and that. And, and, and it's all about yourself essentially. But I know a lot of the planning that comes in, you do want to think about your parents and how you can bring them to Australia with you in the future as well. A lot of the times, you know, your parents want to stay back in their country because, you know, they're comfortable there. But at the end of the day, they do want to look at options to be closer to you because at the end of the day, they are your parents. So today specifically, we'll talk about the sponsored parent 870 visa, which is a temporary visa. Now, of course, there are permanent options, but they have different requirements and the waiting periods a little bit longer. So the next video I will do will be on the permanent visas. It's called the parent visa 103, 143 and, and all of that. Because the wait period is quite long, in the interim, you might want to think about lodging something like this, which is a more temporary visa. And they don't have to continue to fly in and out on a tourist visa, which is quite difficult, especially when your parents are, you know, a little bit more elderly. It's hard for them to just jump on and off a plane. It's, you know, quite tiring to, you know, be on a plane for more than eight hours most of the time. Now, before before we get stuck into this, if you guys like my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this with people who need it. It really helps my channel. So the sponsored parent visa. Now for this visa, if you're looking to sponsor your parent, there's two aspects to this. So there is the sponsorship and there's the actual visa application. So for your parents to actually be able to lodge a visa application, they need to have an eligible sponsor, which is their child who is a permanent resident of Australia. Now, unlike the 143, the permanent visas here, there's no balance of family tests. So for example, if there's four children in the family for the permanent visas, you know, for, to be eligible, at least two of the children have to be permanent residents of Australia or if there's five children then at least three children need to be permanent residents of Australia so over 50% for those visas but there's no balance of family test here so you just need to be an Australian permanent resident and eligible to sponsor your parent so the first part of this video let's talk about the sponsorship requirements so that you can sponsor your parent to come and live temporarily in Australia with you for up to three years or up to five years depending on which one you pay for essentially now the cost to become an Australian parent sponsor it's not much, it's $420 with the department. The majority of the fees are for the visa applicant themselves, your parents. And the processing time for this is two months to four months at this point. Previously, we've lodged these and yeah, they've taken under a couple of months. So not too long. If you have all your documents ready and it's done all properly, it shouldn't take too long to do essentially. So to be eligible to sponsor your parent, you must first of all hold an eligible visa. So you must be an Australian citizen, Australian permanent resident, or an eligible New Zealand citizen, and you must not have been unlawful. Now you must not have any obvious debts to the Australian government and you must meet the character requirements, which goes without saying as a requirement for most visas here in Australia. Now the key thing here is that you must pass the income test. So, because essentially when your parents come on the 870 visa, they can't work. So you're here to sponsor them. You have to be able to support them while they're here. So the requirement is that your taxable income in the last financial year must be over $83,454.80. So let's just say round up 84,000. It's too hard to say all those numbers. So your taxable income for the last financial year must be over $84,000 per annum. So if you don't have this amount, there's ways around it. So you can combine your income with your partner. However, your income must always be at least 50% of the total income. So if it's 84,000, you must contribute at least 42,000, let's say. And same goes, so if you have a brother or sister, so the other child of your parent, your brother or sister, uh, who is also Australian permanent resident or citizen, you guys can combine your income as well. Again, if you are the sponsor yourself, you must make up 50% of that total income. So it is the taxable income, all right? So it's the, the total amount that you have at the end of the financial year. So that would be the key requirement to become an approved sponsor for this 870. 
zero visa. So if you basically did the, tick those boxes, you'd be eligible to sponsor your parents. So you go ahead and you submit a sponsorship application. In the meantime, you'll be preparing you know, the documents for your parents' visa application. So once that sponsorship is approved, then they can lodge the parent visa. Now the parent visa usually needs to be lodged offshore. After the visa is granted, it can be granted for up to three to five years. Obviously that depends on which one you apply for and the costs are different. So for three years, the cost is $5,000 for the department. For five years, the cost is $10,000 for the department. Which, you know, seems expensive. However, if you think about it, the cost of, you know, your parents coming back and forth, you know, the time, the energy, everything, you know, this probably does work out better if they can just stay here with you for five years you know that, that's pretty good so I do think there's been a slight increase also to the fees anyways they change from time to time anyway so as long as you know the ballpark figure be prepared that it could be give and take a couple hundred dollars here and there because visa fees increase every single year the processing time currently online says two months to seven months they're not visas that take a long time so you know if you're kind of like if you're kind of looking to bring your parents at the next six months or so you know I think that's definitely achievable so again the requirements aren't too difficult for this visa essentially it's you know they have to be your parent and they have to meet the health and character requirements when the visa is granted though and they come to Australia they'll have multiple entries on that visa so if they do need to go back they can they can't work and they must maintain health insurance so this doesn't include Medicare or anything like that. But again, you know, when you weigh everything up and to have your parents close to you, everything's gonna cost something, right? So I think these costs and everything is just definitely justifiable, especially for your parents. So taking about you as the Australian child, once that sponsorship is approved, then you will be able to lodge the visa application for your parents within the next six months. So there's a six month kind of like time frame on that one. After that, you know, it would have expired and you have to re-lodge it again. Now there is a way to to ask for permission to lodge onshore. However, look, you know, you do have to get it, do a submission for that. I do think it's a little bit more complicated for something like that. You definitely need, you know, tailored legal advice for that. We did a lot of that during COVID because a lot of parents came, you know, to visit their children during, you know, the COVID period. And then afterwards they, you know, got stuck here because the borders were closed essentially. And then we looked at options for our clients and 870 is one of the best options for them. So we applied it for them and we asked for permission to apply here here in Australia and once that sponsorship is approved you have 60 days to lodge the visa here in Australia. So when your parents do have this visa they'll be able to come to Australia, they'll be able to stay for the duration of the visa grant and you know the conditions are that they must maintain health insurance and they cannot undertake any paid work. Now they can obviously do things to help you. So if it's, you know, domestic things like, you know, helping you look after your children, their grandchildren, if they want to do any volunteer work, or perhaps help out at the school of your child, you know, those things are okay to do, but you basically cannot go to work. So, you know, if you're working, they can't pick up a part-time job. They also cannot help out in the family business, essentially. If they do find out that they are doing that, then obviously the visa could be canceled and they will have to go back to their home country so you know but anyways we usually don't have any of these issues with our clients because parents are obviously a little bit older right so in their 60s or 70s and you know they don't really want to work anyway they're enjoying their retired life with their grandchildren that's kind of the temporary visa option for your parents now this is a great option because not every single parent wants to get permanent residency in Australia obviously their options are there but you still have to meet the requirements so I have one client who has you know who is an Australian permanent resident citizen has five other sisters or siblings that are not Australian permanent resident it's impossible for them to apply for permanent residency for their parent anyway because there's no way they'll meet the family balance test anytime soon and I don't think the siblings wanted to move to Australia anyway but the parent wanted to live in Australia with them so this is the visa we applied for for them which is a great option I think and obviously you know we are a law firm so we assist with all types of visa applications skilled visas family visas partner visas anything Australian migration related we definitely assist with so feel free to reach out to us email us if you have an urgent query so we can definitely you know uh, triage that I don't know what you call it but you know prioritize those queries as well contact details are below and very exciting as you guys know I've started releasing my mini courses it's been crazy the response has been great to them a lot of people have been saying that the courses are super helpful providing them the insight a lot of the time they still go and get you know legal advice but it's already helped them a lot moving forward with the process because a lot of the time, you know, you don't know what you don't know, essentially, right? So anyway, check out the link below, courses.tracymigration.com.au. Thank you so much for listening in today and I'll see you guys in the next video.